Welcome back to another latest SpaceX update video. Today, we have some thrilling news to share with you. SpaceX has just been granted a new launch license by the FAA for its next Starship flight. But before we dive into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest SpaceX news. Let's rewind a bit and recall what happened with SpaceX's Starship program earlier this year. On April 20th, during its initial flight, Starship encountered a mishap that left the launch pad in shambles. The FAA promptly grounded the program for safety reasons. Fast forward to August 15th, the FAA announced that it was reviewing the Starship mishap investigation report submitted by SpaceX. The review, which concluded on August 21st, focused on identifying the root causes of the mishap and the corrective actions needed to prevent such incidents in the future. The good news came on September 8th, when the FAA announced that SpaceX could reapply for a new launch license once they had implemented 63 identified corrective actions, with six of which could be completed in later flights. SpaceX successfully completed all the requirements. But the waiting game just started there. The US Fish and Wildlife took about a month to review the environmental impacts of the first integrated flight. Finally, SpaceX was granted the new license today, following a careful examination and consideration by the FAA. Before we move on to what SpaceX has done to secure this new license, let's quickly recap what went wrong during Starship's first flight. It failed to reach orbit, stage separation was a challenge, and eight engines failed during ascent, causing the vehicle to veer off course. Ultimately, the Flight Termination System FTS, kicked in, resulting in the vehicle's self-destruction. On the ground, the launch left a giant crater and debris scattered across the site, damaging cameras and even hitting the outer shell of propellant tanks. Now, what sets SpaceX apart is its bold approach to innovation. Elon Musk, the company's founder, is not afraid to fail and learn from mistakes. SpaceX is known for its willingness to gather valuable data, even if it means blowing things up in the process. After the initial mishap, Elon Musk estimated a repair time of 6 to 8 weeks for the launch pad. But it took a little longer than that. SpaceX completed the entire pad refurbishment in just 4 to 5 months. It's a testament to their dedication and ability to turn the impossible into reality. One significant improvement that stands out is the installation of water-cooled flame deflector steel plates under the orbital launch mount. This upgrade is expected to prevent damages like those seen during the first flight. SpaceX has tested the water deluge system multiple times, demonstrating its robustness. A new hot staging technique for stage separation will be implemented for the next Starship flight, among thousands of other changes. Successful static fire tests have been conducted on both the booster and ship. The final milestone, a wet dress rehearsal, was completed on October 24 with the full stack Starship. I can't wait to see this beast soar into the sky once again, after months of regulatory hurdles finally cleared. It's worth noting that SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, has a strong commitment to environmental sustainability. In the grand scheme of things, SpaceX's Starship holds immense promise for humanity. Once fully operational, it will revolutionize space exploration, allowing us to learn more about the universe and our place in it. We owe a debt of gratitude to SpaceX and all those involved for keeping the dream of becoming a multi-planet species alive. That's all for today's update on SpaceX's new launch license for the second Starship flight. Make sure to stay tuned for more exciting developments leading up to the launch day.